Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 2016 Writers Guild Awards. There at the summer tour at the Television Critics Association when the show did the panel and everything, so I was I was on board from the get-go. Um, obviously, a lot of inspiration from yours, your years with dance. Definitely, yeah, very personal story. And, and the psychology of it, and I don't think a lot of people realize, like, dance can be very dark because there's so many emotions that come with it. Is that sort of where you were coming from? Absolutely. You know, ballet itself is an optical illusion. It, it looks so effortless and perfect. And most people don't really understand what it takes to create that. And, um, and it is. It's a very uh, competitive and combative environment. It's, um, it, it isn't a nurturing place to be. Um, so I was really keen to just finally tap into that and tell the stories. I studied at Boston Ballet growing up, back when we had weigh-ins and things like that. So I just wonder, was this a cathartic experience to sort of get some of that angst out? I, and I love ballet and I love dance, but there are some stuff. Me too, and I still dance, you know, even though I'm much too old to be doing it. But um, yes, it was cathartic, and cathartic in a way that I didn't expect, because once we got to New York and we did the audition process, it was sort of like I had some PTSD from being a bunhead with a number on my leotard. But then, even more so, once we started shooting in New York, and I was in the company, it was so meta, I was in a company that I had created of a company of dancers, and I was like, what am I doing back here? Like, these people are crazy. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was, that was a big moment for me where I was just like, what? Why am I doing this to myself? I'm doing this again. But I, I absolutely love it and adore it. And, and Sarah Hay, what a wonder. Um, Talk yeah. about like working with her. Uh, she's yeah. She was so committed and so dedicated and so intense about the work. She never shied away from anything that we were asking of her. She was like she had this innate understanding of Claire. Just very impressive. Now I know that this was designed as an ongoing series, and it became an, kind of an event yeah. and and a limited series. So, were you frustrated? Were you happy? Were, uh, what are your feelings about that? I have mixed feelings about it because, I mean, to, from, to my own detriment, perhaps, it has a, a really beautiful ending, um, you know, as we change the gaze from the male gaze to the female gaze to the inner gaze. Um, so at first I was disappointed because there were some storylines that I was looking forward to exploring, and then I had the opportunity in post to end it in a beautiful way, and so, I don't know. I, je, je ne regrette rien at this point. That's a good attitude to have. And, and oftentimes you don't get to end it the way you want to. So yeah. at least you had that nice butt. Yeah, indeed. Congratulations on your nominations, and I love the series. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Now don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and of course tell us what your favorite script of last year was in the comments below.